Ferrari, Aston Martin, Porsche, Jaguar. Now call me aspiring, well I'm an aspiring owner and now I can own all four and I can own all four at once, can't I Ralph? Certainly can Lawrence. Let's have a look at these splendid 118 scale models. Right, the first one we got here is made by a company called Hot Wheels. This is a 1962 Ferrari GTO. Now this car went at auction in the early 80s for about 10 million pounds, wow. probably the highest auction car ever. You can buy this for 16.99. Tell me about a bit more about Ferrari because you can get quite a varied selection, can you? This is probably the most collectible car brand ever is Ferrari and there's quite a lot of models done. There's F40s, there's Testarossas, there's 250 Californias, all sorts done in all, all scales as well, not just 18 scales. So small 143rd yep, scales as well. It, that's popular, is it? Very popular. So really a lot of aspiring owners out there. Yep. Maybe someone who can't afford the real thing, right? Well, that's quite normal, I think. <laughs> but you can still become a Ferrari owner. You certainly can. All right, brilliant. Let's try Porsche. Right, this one's made by a company called Maesto, also 118th scale. Uh -huh. This is only 16.95. This is a model of a very early 356 Roadster. Yeah. But you can get modern 911s, that sort of thing. So you can come right up to date yep. with, with the Porsche mark. You certainly can. How about for BMW or for, yeah, for a BMW, Z3 or something? Yeah, there's BMW, new Z3s, even the model of the new Z8. So how does that measure up against a period car, a, 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 a modern car with a modern launch? You'd still get a modern replica, A lot of you? the manufacturers now, like i.e. BMW and Audi and people like that, they have these models made as promotional models to promote the new car. And they for sometimes a new give them or sell them to you know, potential customers, yeah. and we also get a spin-off from that. We're able to sell them. So someone who owns the full-size car would want to buy a model replica as well, yeah? Sometimes, yeah. Oh, wow. OK, uh, two big British marks, Aston Martin. Which one's this one there? This one's made by Auto Art. This is a Aston Martin DB5. This is the same car that James Bond drove, and there is actually a James Bond version available of this. Yeah, in the, in the correct colours, yeah? In the correct colours in silver. Uh, they come in various colours then, yeah? This comes also in green. Green. Smaller scale, or...? They're smaller scales, is 143rd scale, which is about 17 pounds. But 118 scale is, is pretty popular, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it is, because everything opens, all the doors and the bonnet and the boot open, it steers. Yeah, I must say, it's a nice piece of work. How, did you tell me how much that one was? This one is about 40 pounds. 40 pounds, yeah. so really not spending a lot of money. To, no, not too to, much. All right, and the final one, the Jaguar. This is the same manufacturer as the Aston Martin, Auto Art, about the same price, 40 pounds. Now this is a C-type. It's a C-type, but it's a road going version, right. as opposed to a Le Mans car. Uh, yeah, I see what you mean. So it's slightly different from, from that that raced at, at, at Le Mans, yeah? yeah? And how much would this one be? This is about 40. There's also other Jaguars available from other companies like Barago, do an E-Type Jaguar, Roadster or Coupe, and uh, about 17 pounds. Right, presumably you can get the modern Jags as well, yeah? Uh, you can get the new S-Type, which came out about two years ago. That's a mass-produced one, so that's about 18 pounds. Yeah, small scale as well on that one? And small scale too, yeah. So you can do 143rd or 118th? Yep. Oh, terrific, I must say, that's really impressive. So there you go, guys. You can actually own one of these fantastic, famous marks for very little money.